You ever buy something on a whim? It seemed harmless. The auction ending soon. The bid at just one penny. Old book with curious drawings. The description read. I was curious and hell, it was just a penny. The book arrived a week later. No return address. It looked ancient, leather bound, and, as described, full of drawings. They were detailed sketches of landscapes, towns, and people, but all with something slightly off about them. Like someone had drawn our world, but with a nightmare twist. The drawings, the more I looked, made me uneasy, like they were pulling me in. One drawing in particular caught my attention. It depicted a house eerily similar to mine. And in the window, a shadowy figure peered out, the facial features unclear. My first thought was, that's just a coincidence. Lots of houses look like mine. I was curious enough to compare. Flipping on the backyard light and holding the book up for comparison, it was unsettlingly similar. Trees in the same position, same bend in the pathway, even the crack in my back step. The pages after depicted interiors, one after another, increasingly familiar. A chill settled in my gut, deeper than the late night air. There it was, my living room, every piece of furniture, the exact angle of the half-open blinds. My mind raced, trying to dismiss it as some trick or hoax. But and this really made my skin crawl. The book was old, really old. I flipped rapidly through the pages, dread mounting with each image. It felt as though someone had documented my life in advance, all leading up to... What? Then, a blank page. Relief washed over me momentarily. Maybe this was the end. But on the next page, there was a drawing of a bedroom. My bedroom. And on the bed, a figure. Me, with the same nightshirt, the same disheveled hair. But there was someone else, standing at the foot of the bed, face obscured, but its presence overwhelmingly menacing. Fearfully, I glanced at my bedroom door, half expecting someone to burst in. Instead, I slammed the book shut, tied it with a string, and stuffed it into a box. The night was sleepless, every creak a potential threat, every gust of wind a whispered secret. By morning, my fear had somewhat settled. It was just a book, I told myself, a really messed up, weird book. Maybe someone had been pranking me. But I couldn't shake the feeling that something was horribly wrong. I went about my day, pushing thoughts of the book aside, but by evening, curiosity gnawed at me again. What if there were more pictures? What if the next picture was happening now? I took out the book, untied the string, and opened it to where I left off. The drawing showed me, sitting in my living room, the book in my lap, a look of utter horror on my face. I glanced around, half expecting to see someone there, but it was just me and the book. I hesitated, then turned the page. The next drawing was of me again, but this time standing in my backyard facing the woods. In the distance, the trees looked alive, with twisted faces and gnarled limbs reaching out. What was even more unsettling was the shadowy figures lurking just beyond the trees, looking in. I immediately felt compelled to look outside. The moon was shining brightly, illuminating my backyard. There it was, the forest from the drawing. It looked so real in the book, and I had to know. Without thinking, I found myself opening the back door. Stepping outside, I felt a breeze that wasn't there before. It carried with it whispers, unintelligible, but it felt like they were beckoning me. Drawn like a moth to a flame, I walked towards the woods. With every step, the whispers grew louder, becoming a cacophony of voices, some crying, some laughing, and some just... chanting. The trees loomed closer, their branches reaching out, yearning. Suddenly, the back door slammed shut. Snapping back to reality, I turned and ran towards my house, the voices in pursuit. I fumbled with the door handle, finally bursting inside, locking it behind me. The whispers stopped, replaced by a deafening silence. I took the book, ready to burn it or throw it away, but curiosity got the better of me again. Turning to the last pages, I saw a drawing of me, inside my home, looking relieved. I sighed, 
thinking it was over. But the very last page stopped my heart. It was a mirror image of the first picture of my house. But this time, the shadowy figure in the window was me. Weeks passed, and I couldn't shake off the paranoia. Every time I looked at a window, I half expected to see those woods, those voices calling me back. The book vanished, maybe sold by another unwitting soul on eBay. But I know it's out there, and I know I'm in it. Every night, I wonder if I'm the one looking out, or the one looking in.